Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell the truth about silver. Today is Thursday the 16th of September 2021 and we're producing our third video of the day. This morning we warned about the weakness in gold and silver prices and at the time gold and silver were down and were in our view trending lower. We cautioned about economic data figures due out today and since then prices have crashed. So let's take a look. Yes, indeed, earlier today we produced our Thursday morning gold and silver update and forecast under the heading gold and silver down trending again. Now, we produce these each morning for a reason to give an indication at least of what to expect during the course of the day. We don't necessarily predict specific prices, but we are providing the various influences that could actually affect the price and give our view as to the options potentially available. Those circumstances in which gold and silver could go up and those circumstances in which they could fall. And usually, not every day, but usually we give our feeling as to where the balance of probability lies. Well, since we produced that video, gold and silver prices have plummeted. And at the time of producing this one, which is 1856 GMT plus one, we can see that gold is currently down $37 on the day and stands at 1756, having been as low as $1,746, though we have pointed out that $1,750 is very, very strong support. However, silver is down 95 cents at 22.85. It has been down over $1.20 earlier today. It's recovered just a smidgen. And it has smashed through a number of support levels. Now, let's take a quick look at what we said this morning. So how have gold prices been affected? Not good. We were only saying earlier in the week how pleased we were to see gold hold above $1,800, but it's fallen back. It's now 1785 again. And I'll comment on that in a second. 1750 is very strong support though, but this is a little concerning. Silver equally, well below now $24 at 2359. Again, some support at 2350. It's only been as low as 2355. But have you noticed, if we take a three month look on silver you can see the trend is down if you take a six month look on silver you had that build up now you have that fallback and we are reaching lower lows than we were back in March that is worrying for the silver price great if you're in the market to purchase over the course of the year silver is down 13 percent that's year on year not auguring well at all. So much for all these pumpers telling you it was going to be $50 and gold was going to be two, three, four thousand dollars all because of various things going on in the world. That's not the reality. So this morning gold was down just $10 when we produced that video compared with down $37 now and silver was down 26 cents compared with 95 cents now. These are substantial drops, particularly for gold in a way, bearing in mind how sedentary prices have been, albeit on a downward trend, nevertheless rel relatively sedentary. So what happened? Well, we'll take a look. Now, as we said in our weekly update on the weekend, Reiterated on our Monday morning, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning and this morning's gold and silver update, morning update, we said look out for the data on Tuesday, the CPI index, on Wednesday import price index and industrial production, but the most crucial would be Thursday, today, retail sales plus jobless claims. And this is exactly how it has panned out. We can see 
that although the initial jobless claims actually went up, the continuing jobless claims fell from 2.85 million to 2.67 million. Now that is positive, not enough on its own to move markets, but what is and has has been retail sales because the retail sales figure for August was a positive 0.7%. Markets were expecting minus 0.7 because in July it was as low as minus 1.8. And if you exclude automobiles, arguably it's even more dynamic because we have the figures coming in for August at positive 1.8% compared with positive 0.2 compared with minus 1, which is what occurred last month. Then to add, if you like, Kindle to the fire or icing on the cake, whichever way you look at this, the Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Survey came out at a whopping 30.7 compared to 19.4 in August and an expectation of 18.9, though business inventories were down, but equal to market expectations. So what effect did this information have? Well, it caused the dollar to rise. And as you can see, the dollar index is standing at 92.92. That's up 0.41%. And we have stipulated time and time again, we will hit 93. Forget all the shifts of this world and everybody else telling you it's all going to collapse. The dollar is going to strengthen. Should it strengthen? Not really. But remember, you're comparing these indices with other currencies. And the basket of currencies, the dollar is the best of a bad bunch. Listen to Illuminati Silver. We've been right 95% of the time. And when we are wrong, it's a tiny, tiny error. So what happened to the gold market? Well, let's take a look. It started the week at 1788. It rose as high as 1808. We thought, great, it's holding above 1800 which it did for, for Wednesday until later on Wednesday when it fell back, but still managed to hold Thursday at 1794 and then the collapse down as low as 1746, currently rebounding at 1755, but down a huge $39, 2.2%. That's a significant move for gold. Silver, even worse. Started the week 23.77. We thought we don't think it'll go above 24. If it does, it might not stay there, but we hope that it will. It did do so. It's been as high as 24.32 and hit that point, if you like, $24 a couple of times, but not really holding. And of course, this crash knocked it as low as 22.63. It's currently 22 now, 86. So that's down over 5%. So where are we then? Well, gold support is currently at 1750. We did have some support at 1775, though it was light support. That was broken. It's now at 1750, but we saw it dip below that, but it did recover above it. If it should go down overnight now on tomorrow morning, below 1750, then, then the next support level is close to 1720. So you could even see another $30. We don't quite think it'll do that tomorrow, but, but the potential is there. With silver, you have silver now at 2286. It's got support at 2260. We saw that. It went to 2263 and bounced off. But if that breaks, you then go down to 2230, 2210, psychological 22. So, and if it goes below that, then that is very problematic. If we look quickly at equities, and we'll do this tomorrow morning as well, where we'll have even more data and some headlines we can show you. But Europe and the Middle East, our markets are now closed, and they were broadly up anything from 0.16% to 1.1% up. Uh, American market is still open. It's now 1933, as I'm saying this to you. That's GMT plus one. And the Dow is down 0.2%, the S&P down 0.13%, and the Nasdaq down 0.04%. So, 
that's where we stand at the moment. We're probably not expecting huge falls from here, but who knows? Let's see what happens to the dollar. It's all on the dollar at the moment, but the figures are out. We were expecting a slight franc rebound, not back to the levels they were at. The writing could very well be on the wall for gold and silver. Makes a mockery of all the pampers. I saw a video yesterday. Gold and silver going to reach all-time highs very, very soon. Hmm. Which universe does that pumper come from? Anyway, hope you like this video. If you're holding a lot of gold and silver, it's bad news. If you're thinking of accumulating it, it's good news that we still perhaps wouldn't accumulate. Well, we, we personally won't accumulate at this level. We think it could go down even further as the year progresses. We could equally be wrong. Thank you for listening. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, press the bell sign. Try and join us if you can for our morning update tomorrow. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.